Well, it's one of the highlights of the Perth fashion calendar. The WA Country Cup's Fashions on the Field final is finally here and it's showcasing all the best that our state has to offer. When you think about the racing itself, from a regional participation perspective, fashion is kind of synonymous with racing. I think it probably gets a bit overshadowed, so events like Fashions on the Field are a way of actually putting in bright lights, I suppose, and promoting both the region and, and fashion at the same time. Among the guests for this year's event is racing royalty. In the form of Francesca Camani. Well, it's funny, I, me, like a lot of the other internationals that come out for the Spring Carnival, we're always blown away by the, by the hospitality, essentially, and also by the, the, the love for racing. There aren't many places in the world where, where racing transcends the, the sport, essentially, and it gets out there into the, the wider public. Well, I think one of the things that you realise is when you travel to all the regional areas in WA, it's almost like one in three or one in four people that you meet along that journey actually have a direct connection to racing. And then I think to be able to have something like the WA Country Cups bringing outside visitors into the region, it absolutely brings people in. The hospitality industries are booming, all the local boutiques, people get to really see the region and the racing is really the basis for that, so it's crucial. I think the Country Cups initiative is so important for the country racing and, and the country communities. Racing symbolises a place where people can all come together and really be together as a community. So I absolutely love what Country Cups do and to culminate here with all the towns coming together at Ascot tomorrow, it's really exciting. Ascot plays host to the crowning of this year's winner. After weeks of anticipation, the final has arrived. The winner is Elizabeth Winlow. This is Elizabeth Winlow. She was a wild card today, so she arrived not even knowing if she was going to be an entrant in the final, and here she is with the winner's sash. How do you feel? I'm so excited. I just, it's such like. It's an honour to represent um, to WA and yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a Northern girl originally and yeah, it's a dream come true. Now tell me a little bit about this winning outfit of yours. Very last minute. <laughs> wasn't even going to go. Also. I know, but it's true, I wasn't even going to go to 2J um, on the day. Things weren't aligning, but I thought, you know what, I've got it so I might as well go and gee whiz, I'm glad I did. After an incredible journey for all the contestants in 2017, it's now time to relax, reflect and enjoy.